Welcome back to another video traders and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Charting Trends for Trading Options. My name is TJ and today we're going to be looking at Jumia Technologies, J-M-I-A. If you haven't heard of this stock, um, it's kind of a hype beast name. They've had a big year, a lot of growth, sort of the Africa, uh, African Amazon is what people are calling them. Um, so it's interesting. And today they came out and hit a new all-time high at 57.43. And let's take a look. Before we get into the chart, I want to talk about this recent article from January 15th. A couple of important notes here uh, right off the top on these bullet points. Uh, forward revenue growth, lack of profitability, and high risks, big downside pressure. With operations in just 11 countries, they're talking about Africa, JMA already has access to 70% of Africa's GDP. So there's not a whole lot more room to grow there, looking at what they've already covered. Risks, you know, this is just Africa stuff. Uh, infrastructure, urban development, internet access, political instability, and corruption. And they're also burning a lot of cash right now. And on top of everything, after, and this is from a week ago, so this is before the valuation was at its current all-time high. They're already trading at 20 times forward sales, so very expensive. Uh, one last thing, actually two more things. One bright note here, Jumia Pay, which is their payment solution, has actually been doing well, and they do a lot of things with this. Um, they do payment processing with servicing fees, advertising fees, commission and lending fees. They do bill payment, prepaid phone recharging, entertainment, transportation, and gaming tickets. Um, and this is a revenue generator for them. So despite the tough road that they've had on the retail side, their payment processor is doing well. And last note from this article, Jumia has not reached profitability and net losses still sit at over 100% of revenues. So <laughs> they're losing more than... 100% of what they're generating in profits. Um, they have 147 million euros uh, cash balance will likely require more funding. Um, and they're probably going to do a share offering, which is going to dilute the, the price as well. They've been burning through $80 million in cash in four quarters, which would give them only seven quarters. That's less than two years at the current burn rate before they are out of money. So that's not good. Now let's take a look at the chart. Um, so just to say, you know, Jumia Pay sounds interesting. The Africa, uh, African Amazon, it sounds like a great idea, but the reality is this is tough execution because Africa is a scary place with not a whole lot of money and a lot of downside. Anyhow, new all-time high today at 57.43. Let's take a look at how we got here. So back in August, we came out and hit this new all-time high at $24, then we had some consolidation here until November, breaking above that resistance and shooting all the way out to uh, 41, consolidating uh, very quickly here again, starting to catch some momentum, jumping out to 49 within a couple of weeks, and after coming back below support and testing this downtrend a couple of times, finally broke out today all the way up to 57. So. I mean, it seems like it could be accelerating from a technical perspective. You know, you got to like the chart here. We've we've made new all time highs. We've consolidated and we've continued to to see to see growth. But when you look down here on the bottom line, you know, we've got negative revenue, negative revenue and negative revenue. And, and it's not really getting better. This is fairly consistent um, losses, kind of like they talked about in the article. So um you know, I'm, I'm not sure what the bullishness is here. It's, you know, it's obviously it's speculation towards future revenue. You know, if they can pull this off and become some type of African Amazon, th there's, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars to be made. But right now, they're a company that loses significantly more money than they generate. Um, but I think investors are looking forward to the next earnings report on February 23rd, hoping to see a change from the pattern that we've seen thus far that would validate all this incredible growth that we've seen throughout 2020 and the beginning of 21 f 2021 for sure um, but as of today looking at jumia uh, jumia I'm not sure how it's pronounced it's a very cool idea with a very tough road to execution so i mean if they can pull this off great 
but right now it doesn't seem like they're pulling it off and at the current valuations now over at $57 a share it just I, I can't imagine that this is something an investor would want to get involved in uh, right now it's just overpriced and it's it's losing money right um, and that's that's pretty much what I'm looking at here that's it thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did remember to leave a like really helps out the channel if you have any questions or comments comment below I read all the comments and if you want to see more videos like this one subscribe uh, thanks for watching guys if you haven't already check out my other channel as well if you like my analysis there's more of it over there thanks again guys have a great night